Did you know that there are over 20,000 city signs in Arvada? Hi, I'm Councillor Bob Pfeiffer. As an engineer, I've been fascinated with the way that things are done, how we can do it better, and be cost effective. Our city employees do these signs themselves. So let's go visit them and find out how they do that. So Larry, this is the sign shop. So how many people work with you? There are three of us that work in this department. There's myself, Jackie Conrad is a sign and marketing technician. Jerry Tyler is a traffic tech. We make and install all of our own street name signs throughout the whole city. Yeah, and that's a lot of signs, isn't it? It's that, about 20,000 signs we're talking about. 20,000 signs and probably 3,500 of those are just stop signs alone. And so what are some of the basic things you do uh, when you create these signs? Well, they have to be designed on a computer, cut out on a plotter, the sign must be weeded out, a background must be placed on the aluminum blank, and then the face itself goes on top of the background. And what kind of signs are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about uh, diamond grade material, high intensity prismatic, and engineering grade. Diamond grade being the top of the line with a 10 to 12 year warranty on it, as opposed to the engineering grade that has no warranty. So Larry, there's HIP, you mentioned, as well as uh, diamond grade type signs. Uh, this one, I believe, is an HIP. Could you tell me a little bit more of the difference between HIP and the diamond grade? The HIP is the medium type of material used in our sign making. It's one of these federal mandate upgrades that we're doing. We're about a third of the way through the city, replacing like all the parking sign, all the speed limit signs, bike route signs. And then we also use the diamond grade material which is uh, put on all our stop signs. Mm -hmm. uh, it does have a uh, much higher uh, visibility uh, uh, light reflection back to the vehicle, especially at night. It's 10 times greater brightness than the engineering grade, where like HIP is three times as great. Mm -hmm. We also do in the dime grade on stop signs, we also do all the brand new school signs, pedestrian crossing signs and bicycle crossing signs that we are required to follow under federal mandate laws. So when, when I drive through the city, I've noticed now it's the signs seem a lot bigger than when I was a kid. Um, can you tell me maybe why that might have changed? Well, we went to a larger uh, street name sign uh, just strictly for the idea of the aging citizens out there going to the blue on white diamond grade gives you a better reflection as far as nighttime visibility, especially the stop signs. Mm -hmm. We want the, uh, the driver and motorist to understand what they're up against, what they're coming upon, and make it as easy as possible for them to get to where they need to go. You're very cost effective with why we do it in-house versus uh, contracting it out. Can you explain for our audience a little bit more of why we do it in-house versus uh, contracting uh, sign making? When we used to buy all our stop signs that were diamond grade material with a protective overlay on them and they, they were running us about uh, $60 a piece. Now we make them in-house for about $43. We buy all these sign face material and the aluminum through the Maple bid. That's a collective bargaining that our purchasing agents set up to get us the best price for all the material that we use, whether it be uh, traffic paint or would it be uh, signs, aluminum, mm -hmm. and roll goods. Yeah, that's a great cost savings for our taxpayers. How long did that take you to, to replace all the signs to meet those federal mandates? Well, it took us seven years to do all the street name signs and stop signs in the city. Mm -hmm. And we're now currently upgrading all of our speed limit signs and regulatory signs to the HIP, and we're about a third finished with that. So we still got a long ways to go yet. I appreciate everything your department does, the three of you. And again, thank you very much uh, for spending some time and showing me how you did that. Thank you.